Flagler of the Baylor Bears. Adam, congratulations on making it this far so far. We have a number of questions from local media as well as national media for you. Let's begin with John Werner, once again from the Waco Tribune Herald. Yeah, John Werner, Waco Tribune Herald. Adam, uh, you guys had a lot of practices before the NCAA tournament. Do you feel like you guys' defense is, is back where you want it to be right now? Uh, it's, it's definitely back where we want it to be. Uh, we're all out there connected, communicating, and just flying around and just having each other's back. So that's been helping us, and that's what we're going to continue to do. Kendall is from the Daily Bears. Kendall, go ahead with your question. Uh, Kendall, it's out ODB. Adam, you have a 10 o'clock game tomorrow. Does that change anything about your preparation or trying to get on like a different schedule with how late the game is? Uh, it's definitely different. We're all adjusting and uh, trying to push things a little bit back. But uh, preparation, the plan that we all have, uh, is still the same. And uh, we're uh, excited. No matter what time we're going to be playing, we're excited and uh, we're just ready to play. Steve McGargy from the Associated Press is up next. Go ahead, Steve. Yes, I was just wondering, obviously, at this point, y'all are probably already ex all excited about the regional final and stuff. But I'm just wondering, y'all been in Indy for a while now, cooped up in your hotels. What have y'all kind of done to occupy the time, avoid going stir crazy, aside from like video games, Netflix, and just preparing for the upcoming games? Uh, we've just been hanging, hanging out with each other. Uh, we uh, are a very competitive team on and off the court. So uh, Coach Drew, all the coaches have done a great job of just uh, keeping our competitive juices flowing. And we've been playing uh, UNO. We had an UNO tournament. We had a Connect Forward tournament. Uh, so we've just been uh, competing and enjoying each other's presence. Who won the UNO or Connect Forward tournaments? Do you remember? Um, I don't know for sure. I, it, when I lose, I can't even focus anymore. I don't even pay attention to that. So uh, – I lost, so I can't, I can't relay that. I'm sorry. Matt Roberts is up next. Hey, Adam, you guys uh, have faced a couple of teams that, that Arkansas has played as well. Does it make it easier to evaluate a team on film when they played a team like Oklahoma State or like Texas Tech that y'all have seen a couple times throughout the year? Uh, I wouldn't say easier because we obviously uh, never played them, but uh, – we definitely have people that uh, we pay attention to, like you said, Oklahoma State. And um, it just gives us kind of a, a, a better uh, look at things. And uh, we're able to just adjust a little bit more and know a little bit more about the team. But it's still going to be a tough game, and we're excited to take on the challenge. Bob Holt is from the Arkansas Democrat. Adam? Hey, Adam. Go ahead, Bob. Hey, Adam, how are you? Bob Polk, Democrat Gazette in Arkansas. Um, you guys have done a really great job, probably all season, but especially of late, of turning people over and turning that into points. I mean, you really crushed teams in the tournament. Uh, how big a part of the game is that for you guys? And just what do you think makes you all so good at it? Uh, defense travels. Defense is uh, a thing that we focus most on. And uh, when we have uh, Davion asserting himself out there and uh, being as elite as he is, it is just kind of just carries on and allows us to all just have his back and just uh, be all connected out there. And that's what we've been trying to do. And we've been doing good so far. Does he kind of set the tone and, and you guys feed off him defensively? Uh, he definitely sets the tone. He's easily, in my opinion, the best defender out there. And uh, when he's out there guarding 94 feet, uh, we have no choice but to have his back out there. Thanks. Adam, the next question is from Jerry Hill. Jerry Hill, Baylor Bear Insider. Adam, uh, when you guys got down like that, it didn't look like there was any sense of panic. Talk about that and then maybe what you guys did to kind of turn it around, particularly in the second half. Uh, going into the locker room, we were all uh, just communicating with each other, just staying calm. Uh, we have a great group of leaders that uh, – are very mature and understanding and uh we've been in situations like this and we know that uh we're more than capable of turning out turning everything around we're all connected so uh coach drew and other coaches uh came in with a calm mindset just uh and we made some adjustments and once we made those adjustments uh we knew that we could go out there and uh, take the lead back andrew minor is up next from 24 7 sports 
sure. Adam, you guys have played at both uh, Lucas Oil and Hinkle Fieldhouse since you've been in Indy. A um, couple games at Hinkle and, and now going back to Lucas Oil. I was just wondering if you could uh, kind of explain some of the differences you felt uh, between playing in the in between the two and then um, how you guys felt going back to Lucas Oil. Um, personally, I don't see a difference. Uh, it's just a blessing being here. Uh, we thank God every day for this opportunity. Uh, city of uh, Indianapolis has done a great job and uh, just being able to play back and forth with these amazing venues has been amazing. Sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. If there's a final question for Adam Flagler from Baylor, please use that raised hand function on Zoom. Uh, follow up for Bob Holt from Arkansas. Yeah, Adam, um, I know it's been a pretty quick scout on Arkansas, but but um, Moses Moody for Arkansas, number five, he's early in score. He's a freshman, but he doesn't really play like it. Just wondering what your take was on him. Uh, he's definitely a really good player, a uh, player that we're going to put a lot of emphasis on. Um, but we play a team defense, so as long as we are all connected, we uh, feel like we can uh, stop the team as a collective group because they have a – a lot of other guys that can score the ball as well. So as long as we are connected out there, as long as we're paying attention to the scout, uh, I think we'll be able to do what we want to do. And when you guys are really getting after teams and forcing those turnovers and droves, can you kind of feel, I don't know, just, just like you got the momentum and then maybe there's a little panic on the other side or you guys just, you know, keep feeding off that? Uh, we definitely feel like uh, the momentum changes over time, especially with uh, Davion being at that front end. When he's pressuring the ball the way he does and uh, we're able to get out in transition, we definitely feel like the momentum's on our side. And as long as we continue to get stop after stop after stop, we know that uh, the game will eventually be in our hands. Thanks. Thank you. Adam, we do have one more question from Jerry Hill. Hey, Jerry Hill, Baylor Bear Insider. Adam, since it was a new role for you, talk about just coming off the bench and and that, you know, that mindset of coming off the bench, you know, when you hadn't done that before in your career, I don't, I don't think. Uh, my mindset hasn't changed uh, an awful lot. It's just about coming in there and just try to impact the game the best I can. And uh, just being aggressive out there. Uh, we have a great group of guys that uh, all want to play selfless and depend on each other. So as long as I'm out there and uh, starting on defense end, providing that energy and, uh, uh, being active out there. I know that the offense will come and uh, we just all love playing with each other. We all love playing selfless and uh, it's just been a lot more easier than I even expected coming off the bench. And was that an in the flow thing the other night or did you sense that, hey, the team needs me to kind of step up scoring wise? Uh, that's just with being aggressive, uh, trying to be aggressive at that same approach every game. Um, my teammates did a great job of just encouraging me and uh, telling me to just stay aggressive and keep playing my game. And uh, I just try to do that and uh, contribute as much as I could. We want to thank Adam Flagler for joining us today and representing Baylor. Best of luck tomorrow against Arkansas.